We may not have his fortune, but we can learn from the legal mess following the death of Zappos CEO and entrepreneur Tony Shea. According to court documents, he was worth an estimated $840 million. But did not have a will. Now, two lawsuits have been filed against his estate. News Nation reporter David Charnes takes a look at the fight for Shea's fortune. Companies, properties, and more, all owned by the late Tony Shea, all estimated to be worth more than $800 million. There's always ways to think bigger or think differently. In the months since Shea's unexpected death, two lawsuits focus on all that wealth and who may be entitled to some of it. The process unfolding out in the open because Shea had no will. It's surprising and then it's not because we see it happening all the time. Shane Jasmine Young is an estate attorney based here in Las Vegas. Um, I'm sure he didn't realize that this is probably, you know, the result or that this would be the result of not having any planning but it is, unfortunately, for, for his family and other people that were in his life. Lawsuits filed in Clark County by Shay's longtime friend and assistant, Mimi Pham, claim she's owed part of Shay's, quote, vast fortune for work on Shay's behalf. According to one lawsuit, the duo was so close that Shay used Pham's cell phone as his own, and the pair had the same address on their driver's licenses. FAM's work, according to the lawsuits, partly involves businesses in Park City, Utah, and a documentary film company. All of these people are going to come out um, of the woodwork and, and say, oh, well, you know, Tony promised me this. I've got this contract. We had this agreement, and it's already started to snowball. Just last week, the I-Team reported Shay's family was exploring the sale of nearly 100 downtown properties. One, Zappos headquarters, is worth $20 million alone, according to the most recent assessment. And because Shay didn't have contingencies in place for what would happen to his money if and when he died, Everyone has to have the opportunity to be able to come forward and make claims in this public process. Shea was worth a lot of money, but Young says any estate worth more than 100000 has to go through probate unless you create what's called a revocable living trust. Think of it like a gatekeeper of your wealth when you're gone to say who will benefit from your death. Unfortunately, a lot of us just don't think of it, whether we're super wealthy or not. David Charnes, News Nation, Las Vegas.